-hmm. it may feel pretty warm outside right now, but farmers in the tri-state are feeling the after effects of our drawn out cold winter. Local 12's Elaine Kong joins us with an explanation. The cold weather at the start of this year looks like it's going to create trouble for farmers and have a delayed amount of produce at farmers markets in the area. I spoke with one farmer who says he's going to work around the clock to make sure he makes up for the missed time. This is one of the many fields filled with sweet corn. Yes, it's going to be running a little late this year. Rod Stevenson is a farmer who runs Sandy Land Acres in Petersburg. We've grown this for about 30 years now, and it's been pretty good for us, so we just keep on growing sweet corn. Due to below normal temperatures earlier this year, Stevenson's sweet corn will be late to harvest. It happens all the time. It's either too much rain or not enough rain, and maybe too cold or too hot, it just depends on the weather. Sweet corn is Stevenson's bread and butter. He tries to cut out the middleman, selling directly to customers in the back of pickup trucks. This time around, he doesn't know when he'll be able to sell. Just went on and started planting, that's all we could do. Yeah. It was too cold, but we couldn't wait no longer. Stevenson says although the cold weather has delayed his crops, he has faith it will get better. It's starting to look pretty good. Stevenson says he's hoping to get the first field of corn ready by July. Reporting for Local 12, I'm Elaine Kong. All right, I just planted my garden this weekend. Yeah, yes. isn't it fun to check that off the list and it get it done? It is, yeah. It was cold when she, you know, Elaine was talking about the problems early on, but then it got really hot, so I'm hoping that that kind of helps. Right. I don't, I don't know how nature works. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> we'll find out yes. when that corn at 4th of July.